you can see Rambo here. Um, I thought I'd show you something I started work on about two years ago really and I've come back to it um, as I started getting back into all the other things I'm doing. And this is my fluff base, probably can't use it but if you had a, an idea for a fun game it would be good. Um, my Kachachan Predator Squad, Kachachan Predators, based on of course Predator. Um, I've left out Dylan, um, I was thinking of perhaps he could be a uh, commissar because he's sort of like that in the film, they didn't trust him and Katachans don't trust outsiders. Um, so I'll go through each one so you can have a proper look. Um, probably start off with one of my favourite ones and that's uh, Blaine. Um, I'll just zoom in. Um, it's the one I've used um, the assault cannon from a land speeder and uh, I'll see heavy bolter feed with the space marine heavy bolter pack with the vents cut off there and some extra detail as a fluff base I want to have each man have uh, a second gun like they did in the film as well but as you know a soldier would have a secondary weapon uh, a proper one with him um, so there's various bits and bobs I've put on there that was getting stuffed in. Now yeah, I should go into his face. Uh, yeah. Nope. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've uh, getting stuffed in his moustache and his hat. And I've given him a uh, bulge in his cheek there where he's always chewing that uh, chewing tobacco. Um, so yeah, so it gives him that similar kind of look to him. Um, used some brass etching leaves and I was green, uh, sculpted in the, the other side of the, the leaf there, the vine and veins of it. Um, this is when I first started getting back into it, um, into models and Games Workshop stuff. So I was trying that stuff with plastic hard a lot. Um, you've got space marine pouches on the backpack. Um, my own little quiller there, which I cut out of um, plastic card. You can just see it there if I do that a bit better. Only uh, exhaust, um, not exhaust, but the uh, what's the name? Ejection port off the uh, heavy bolter. Got an any heavy bolter to hand there, uh, not handy grip. The skull there I shaved off. Uh, another part of the model and uh, carefully stuck that on there. I've been using brass stitch leaves, jungle leaves. Um, it's going to be uh, other bits of uh, sand and um, tea leaves I'm going to use on there uh, for the ground to give it a sort of earthy, muddy uh, jungle look to it. So that's just stuck there preliminary with all the other ones. Um, it, was, it was quite hard to get together. I, I used a, a back end of a flamer which I had to cut down and uh, make all these different parts fit. Added a little extra detail there, so the lights were washing out the, the shadow. Um, just underneath there. Um, I was going to show on this. There. Um, I'm going to add some bullet casings. I've got on the bottom now. I've made my own on the other ones, but I've got some from uh, I think it was, uh, Secret Weapon. I've got some uh, assault cannon, heavy bolt sized uh, casings to put on there. It was quite sort of difficult to get this stuck on it, so to make my own little those little white parts there detailed to to carry on the uh, design of it as it as it feeds into the belt uh, part of that there. So uh, that's Blaine. That's Blaine there. The old painless. I reckon this guy's a bit more hardcore than Gunnery Sergeant Harko, who's obviously been based on. So the uh, the idea for this guy is that he's um. He's taken this off as of a downed um, Valkyrie. <coughs> he's wasted a whole bunch of orcs, and then later on he's adapted it for more of a handheld kind of use. So that's my that's my Blaine. And oh, oh yeah, he's also got a knife just there, so he can easily grab it with his other hand and whew, fling it at someone. <laughs> Obviously, uh, I'm trying to make it look like everything can be. It looks like it's attached to other parts. So I've got some green stuff uh, straps and. Things that I've got on the other one models as well there. 
Um, my next favourite one is uh, Mac. I've, I modelled him with the hat because um, that's what he started off with the hat then, because he's a bit more camouflage. Um, green stuff, some, uh, some clasps and the straps there to make it look like this backpack actually fits on his back. Um, Given him a made the stock look like it's actually been uh, sort of retracted back into the into the gun and I've given them sort of carbine for like a shortened versions of their guns I've cut down the uh, the barrel and uh, that cut length off of it and stuck it back on um, now of course the main thing is is a uh, sort of M60 this would be a kind of uh, I suppose in 40k a, a heavy stubber um, all of it is scratch built, uh, apart from the bits I'll tell you about. Um, the magazine is from the heavy bottle, I think, again from a, a land speeder, but I've put my own details on there to make it look like um, something that's you know, different and handheld. So it's got some grips on the bottom. The little skull there um, was actually facing the other way, so I had to shave that off and stick it back on again. Um, the gun itself, uh, if I take this away, pretty much light there. Um, I'll take it there. Um, it's actually made out of two strips of uh, um, sprue uh, stuck together and then a lot of plastic hard, <laughs> um, including the little acrylic I've made myself, the ejection ports, um, or one port I should say. Um, I made a sight, which was quite fiddly. Um, and a piece of a, a rod of a plastic card you know, uh, just carefully cut out and stuck on there um, and a little sight which you can just see if I get my hand that way <laughs> um, and you can see uh, ammo feed I've, I've put that in there as well it's actually feeding into the uh, magazine there and uh, also got an arm from the grenade launcher uh, arm from the Cadence set, some brass etching detail for little studs and studs and rivets, which are, uh, they have quite often of the guard stuff. Um, if you can just see it, oh, anyway. Made a faulty the um, the bipod I've made so it's been folded upwards. So it's quite a strong lad, I suppose, to be able to run and gun with this kind of weapon. Um, so obviously yeah, you can see like, this is all made from plastic card just to get that same sort of uh, feel from the film so these guys are rock hard you know, they can run and gun with the biggest weapons they may not be space marines but they can still deal out some death um, ok I've got uh, Major Dutch who is Arnie just about to see the uh, grenade launcher I made. Not too happy with it. I'd actually just recently just cut off a little bit of detail from from it, which would quite look right. Um, it's got a little grenade you can just sort of see poking in there. I made this sword into a power sword with just a little bit of plastic hard strip and uh, the end of a plastic rod, just to make it look like a uh, power sword and a shotgun from. Um, the Space Marine Scouts. That's gonna focus on there too. Um, this is on this dude. Knife. Yeah, this is so secondary gun is that. Obviously, um, uh, Dutch. He didn't have a, you know, a shotgun, but um, he did have a knife. So he's got a knife there. You can just see it. See so when he flick throws it, it says "Stick around." <laughs> um, so that's, uh, that's what's the name? Dutch, Major Dutch there. I've got Poncho, he's one of my favourites. They didn't need all my favourites, but I suppose the big guns are more, so. <laughs> um, and this was a bit of a pain in the ass as well, because obviously um, the Katachan models don't come with a grenade launcher, which is a bit stupid, um, since they're obviously based on Rambo and Predator and all those types, uh, and the Vietnam stuff. So I had to cut it away and reposition it and use bits of plastic card to fill in details. Um, I liked him having making him like he's running forwards. Again, um, 
to see on the other ones I've done a sort of folded stock so it's, it's uh, you know, retracted into the gun and um, shortened barrel I'm not sure if you can quite see it but I've also screen stuffed in a trigger uh, in there put that bit of white behind it see that because I don't know why they didn't sculpt in the trigger on the guns I kept the arrow on there and the other ones on my sentinel and the other ones I'd seen before I, I took it off but I thought it was thin enough you know, they've done uh, quite a good job making it right sort of size um, for that so you can, ooh, and stuff that ah that's something I've forgotten about um, the tread on the boot I've sculpted in let's see if I can get out yeah because for some reason they're giving them flat salts maybe because they just couldn't be bothered or I don't know uh, anyway, I'll put it on that one and I'll sort of draw that out. And I forget where that handle was from. It's not actually from the, that, this uh, grenade launcher. But I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's on there. <laughs> and last guy was uh, Poncho. Was Poncho. Hawkins. Yeah, Hawkins. So that one's Poncho. Um, I know Dylan had the two guns. He was given two guns until his arm was blown off. But um, I like this pose. And uh, I want to make these look like the MP5. That's what I was uh, sorry, basing the uh, the other Lanz guns on the uh, Heckler and Koch, Heckler and Koch, Heckler and Koch. I don't know you decide. Um, MP5 guns um, here with folded stock. It's a bit chunky. I could have perhaps fired them down a bit, but um, it represents what I wanted to represent. Given the barrels is just drilled out with the end of a knife, Zacta knife. Um, more jungly bits, a little bit of terrain is standing on there, and uh, some Space Marine Scout detail. Your focus, thank you. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's got his knife on there. That's um, waiting to be uh, what's the name? Have a bit of um, strap stuff on in there. I left that Marvel guy. I just realised that. Um, Billy! No, I just crank down for this one. There we are. And, um. Oh, yeah, I'll show you in a second. Um, yeah, here, that's that bit when he's checking the, the um. bullet casings. Um, and he's, uh, he's ch checking out the scene, trying to see what's happened. And so I've made these myself. Gets it right around, and uh, use the file to to put the detail in around the ends of them, and uh, some on the bottom there. Now I'm going to give him, I think, hair. I've I've I've, I've uh, filed down his uh, bandana a bit, so I think I'm giving him hair. I was going to give him the hat, but I'm, uh, I thought it'd be right just to put the hair on him, and uh, you can see the other detail there. Sorry about that, they ran out of space on the bloody card. Um, actually, I just realised I haven't actually given him a carbine version of the uh, gun. I think it was because I was trying to make it, you know, rest on the ground there. And um, I've forgotten it about it, so I might later on snip that and then glue it against the, uh, the, uh, the bottom there. Um, so I'm not sure if I quite saw that earlier. The... Um, What's the name? The casings there that I've made, one on the ground. I've also got um, made my own for this one. Maybe see that there. That's my own uh, bullet casings. You can just sort of see on that lower one down here above my nail um, that I filed them out. You know, around the, the ends of them where they sort of uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's that shape. You know, the groove on the bullet casing, shell casing, and uh, the raw drilled out if hard to see. So that's pretty much it. I think I showed that guns uh back out to crank up for this one. Oh yeah no. So um I was saying about Billy was that I was gonna give him a hat um um as you know you said that's a bush racking sort of hat we call it really um or I was gonna give him the hair sculpt on hair and uh, I'm not sure which I think the hair I'll go with. 
just to make him different from the others and something different to paint as well because you did see him with the hair afterwards anyway in the film um, I think I gave him his knife yeah yeah this is knife um, and again uh, from the scout specimen scout so a bed roll there and uh, I think that's from the Cadians some space marine pouches uh, I didn't give him a tread probably for the same reason his game workshop uh, can bother to <laughs> um, but uh, these ones I started to put the sand on there and um, I can use some tea leaves uh, for texture as well um, for that kind of muddy ground I think it was from uh, Terrain Noob I remember seeing I think it was from his one of his videos a while back so zoom out so that's my um Katachan Predators uh, squad veteran squad uh, of course um, there aren't rules to use uh, assault cannons or heavy stubbers in the veteran squad and there's obviously more men than there is uh, normally I think actually no I've forgotten now how many you can have but um it was mainly just to have fun with it, you know, just have my own versions of these things. And, uh. Because uh, they're so obviously based on sort of Rambo types and, and all of that. That sort of thing. Oops, backwards, inwards. Um. So I'll have fun, uh, at some point. Well, I'll finish off, uh, Billy's head. I'm not sure about him looking down. I might actually. I can break his head off and make him look upright instead. If uh, you guys think he looks alright um, looking down, then um, that's what I'll do. Alright, guys, um, if I've missed anything you want to see, let us know. Please comment rate, and subscribe, and uh, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.